Uh, we've got a question from uh, a user over on LinkedIn uh, regarding Windows 11 feature updates via Config Manager. I'm repeatedly receiving the beloved error delivery optimization downloadable file saw no progress within the defined period. I've heard conflicting reports about Delta content needing to be enabled, and I understand delivery optimization also needs to be enabled with the follow-up comments. Yeah, so the UUP updates in Config Manager has been a bit of royal pain uh, as of late. Um, and, and these are the ones causing this problem. Uh, I haven't really found a great workaround when this kicks in, other than making sure that your DO settings are somewhat reasonable. And the Delta content being enabled or not enabled is depending on the config manager version you happen to be running on. Um, and I also seen the config manager client gets confused and tries to force the settings uh, it's not supposed to set. Um, the best workaround right now is not doing it that. And just use sequences for those upgrades. They do not have that problem. Um, um, I, I have seen some, uh, basically when, when playing around with, see if I can find this one here. Um, Sometimes making sure you have decent DO settings, either configured through group policy or configured from Intune or configured from a script or an agent, whatever you, your, your preferred option there can definitely help because I have seen too heavily throttling causing these type of errors also when doing feature updates. It will work happily to download a Win32 app and happily to download anything else. But these larger updates, because those files can be up to 10, 11 gigs in size, those UUP packages. Um, but I, I would I would recommend, uh, as, as no fun as it sounds, to do file a bug with Microsoft on it so we get more eyes on this issue because you're not the only one seeing this. If you need something that works right now, go ahead and create sequences and just deploy them. They will take care of the update just nicely for it or for you. Um, because the, the client is acting to some sort of a proxy to itself. That way it's need those extra ports, the 8005 port, et cetera. Um, it's a very, very complicated setup they have done. And it's not the first time. It's very similar to when they tried to express installation files back in the days and realized that that was a good, bad idea. Um, so, yeah, time will tell. There's a new format coming out in 24H2 also, so fun stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully fun stuff. Yeah.